Hey there everyone, this is Danielle. Uh, last time I played World 3 Adventures, um, mistakenly expecting it to be a collectathon platformer. It isn't one. Uh, but the reason I thought it would be is because apparently the sequel is one, and I figured they'd be similar games. Uh, so we're gonna play World 3 2 now and see if it's the game I was expecting it to be. It, it should be. Because this, this is the one I was recommended in the first place by a friend, um... Chubby Pixel. So, hopefully this one will be a bit more collected on because yeah, that's the kind of platform where I really like. As you know from my, uh, rampant Odyssey fanaticism. Um, the first game was fine, it wasn't a bad game or anything. Uh, but... I tend to prefer collectathons over games that are not collectathons. Uh, let's see, we can put on anti-aliasing, which is off by default. It's kind of weird, but alright. Invert camera X, invert camera Y. I'll have to get into the game to find out if that's right or not. Because, uh... you know, you invert it from whatever it was to start with, but you don't know if what it started as was the right thing for what you expect. Um... The levels are looking sort of similar. It was a day like the others in the Woodle Lands. Oh, look at the little little friends playing. The sun was shining and the logs were living their everyday life. Cute. And suddenly something terrible took place. A mysterious menace came from above. What was our hero doing at that time? Watch out! Help! Our water tears are being stolen! Cried one of the villagers. <gasps> oh no! Please, Woodle, do something! Okay, uh, I can control the character now. Uh, and we already have a much more promising type of camera. <laughs> uh, and sort of a double jump? Ish? We still have a run button. Uh... Uh, you can tap these buttons to move the camera behind yourself. You still attack with this button. You do it in mid-air though, which is neat. I think you could do that already, but it didn't like launch you forward when you did. Okay. So having their tears stolen has made everyone turn to stone or something? Or at least turn grey. Woodle, what we feared has happened again. This time, all the Sage Protectors were turned into stone, and our power has faded. They turned to stone, I thought so. People of our lands have always protected the Water Tears. They are our source of life. But it is told that in every age, something will try to break this balance. The moment has come again for you this time, to save us all. Okay. Follow the path that I have built for you, I will help you find all the stolen water tears. Alright. Uh... What if I go this way? <laughs> Is that an enemy? Like a friend? I think it's a friend. Do, do, do. Oh, I got something. You found a blueberry. These are quite rare. Use these to buy new moves from the shop near- Moves! Oh, okay. We're really expanding things here. Uh... Woodle, you should find the first three water tears before starting to explore the rest of the world. Alright. I just wanted to see what was over there. Follow the path when you get lost in the world. Oh, I see. This path. 
You found a red berry. Collect these to buy items, masks, and hats from the markets near your house. Okay, I have actual counters for how much of these things we have now, which is a big improvement. Oh, look at the little camera tutorial. Adorable. And yeah, we have a double jump, which we did not have in the first game. Uh, this is a save point, I guess. You've activated a checkpoint. You can warp to these from the map screen in the pause menu. You can warp to the checkpoints? This is an odyssey. We're playing an odyssey. <laughs> uh, use these log ports to go to different places in the world. You can select them in the map. Oh gosh. This is looking really promising already. <laughs> what do you have to say? What a great view. That's it? Alright, well, cool. Looks like by pressing X I can put my leaf on my head. I don't know if there's a reason to do that. Maybe to like protect me from falling things or something? Uh, and yeah, I can attack by hitting things with my leaf. Oh, that's a much better animation. You've been hurt. Be aware that your leaf has now shrunk and you'll make lower double jumps. Wait a few seconds for it to recover. Oh, my leaf is my health? I see. Interesting. Yeah, now my leaf is big again. Okay. You activated the twirly whirly door. Here you will learn the gliding move. Oh, yes, please. Oh, I like it. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Kind of wish I had a bit more range in my attack, but I assume that'll change as I play. Because the first one, like, it didn't give me much in the way of moves, but it did give me a ranged attack, so chances are this one will do that too at some point. Uh, anything down there of interest? Doesn't look like it. Uh, pushing blocks around? Can do -sies. Hello. Yeah, I think I have wall jumps. That's cool. Um, I can't do a whole lot with them yet. Maybe I'll get like a wall run move or something, but I can definitely cling to walls and then double jump once I've done it. So that's cool. Get water and throw it. Oh, I see. You put the leaf on your head. It fills up with water. And then you can bring the water somewhere else. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Okay, and then I can go up here. Do, 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 do. Checkpoint. Save checkpoint. So now I can warp to either of those places. Waddle's house, tutorial path, edge of the plaza. Nice. Hello, little snail. I still think having a run button is a bit silly, but we'll see how it goes when I get into, like, the actual challenges rather than just tutorials. I'm getting a lot of these very quickly. Blueberry! They're clearly a lot rarer than the red ones. <laughs> mm, I like the animations in this game too. That little roll is pretty cute. Hello. I saw those dark things passing over this bridge. Okay, so I have to go that way. Uh, what's this thing? It's like a button or something? It doesn't seem to be. Must just be decorative.
Collectible, you found something really nice that would look good in your home. Collect them all and view them back at your house. Oh, there's souvenirs. It's an odyssey. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm being silly, but I'm having a lot of fun. Let's see. Yeah, I think the default settings are what I want. You push up to look up. You push right to look right. Yeah, that feels right to me. You don't, didn't have to move about it. This statue was built in honor of the last protector of the woodland. Okay, so we're entering the woodland now, I assume? My controller's vibrating a little bit, I'm not quite sure why. It's a gentle vibration. Yeah, it's something to do with this area of the game. Um, maybe the waterfall over there? Uh, Maybe because there's evil in, uh, afoot? I don't know. Oh, oh, blueberries, let's go. I don't know how many of these I need to buy things, but I'm getting them. What's in here? Nothing? So yeah, you can see uh, this is clearly like the same basis as the first game, if you watch the first game video anyway. But they've made it a collector's own platformer, which is what I was looking for. Also, uh, that flower makes you roll a lot, apparently. That's cool. <laughs> so yeah, you can roll, it's Odyssey. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm just gonna keep being silly. I, I hope you enjoy me being silly as I play this game because I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> I think the flower was supposed to make you float along, but because the rolling animation happened, it was just me rolling instead. I'm still very happy with it. <laughs> okay, uh, can we go up this waterfall? It looks like the waterfall itself is going up for some reason. What if we... no, it doesn't look like it. Maybe I need a new ability or something to ride up waterfalls. Oh no, a bad guy. Yeah, the combat is much, much better in this game. It's still like really basic platformer combat, but it's it's so much better than the first game. It's ridiculous. Hello. Uh, let's go in your house and steal your berries. I hope you're cool with that. Can I get up here? Yep. Oh, that, that wall jump launched me further than I was anticipating. <laughs> Berry. Oh gosh, I'm just going around doing random stuff. It's 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 an odyssey. <laughs> it's a collectathon platformer. I modified the molecular structure of these mushrooms. Try jumping on one of them. <gasps> Bouncy mushrooms. Yes, let's go. It's platformer time. Oh, oh, oh. What are these things? Are these decorative? They, they look significant, but they don't seem to do anything. Ridiculous how just having a counter makes collecting berries more fun. I don't know why the first game didn't have one. It was very silly. Oh, another warp point. Remember to use these log ports to save your progress. Oh, I will. I'm guessing these things I'll be able to interact with later because I can see they're sparkling. It seems like they're significant in some way, but I can't do anything with them yet. Maybe I need to unlock a new move and then I'll be able to use them? I don't know. Oh, hello floaty, floaty friends. Oh, look, look at these friends. They're adorable. Uh, I want those berries, but I also want to take the main path. Well, uh, let's go take this path first, and then take the main path. Uh, 
Oh, come here, blueberries. You were going in my berry pocket, which is, I guess, the big backpack I'm wearing. It's much bigger than the one from the first game, so I need to put more berries in it. Oops. I fell down. <laughs> That's okay, though. I can probably warp back up if I need to. But I managed to be able to get back up by wandering around a bit as well. Oh gosh, yeah, this is this is my kind of platformer. I can see why this was recommended to me now. This is what I this is more what I was expecting. <laughs> okay. Uh, obviously I played the wrong game to start with. Uh the Woodall Village. Okay. Uh, they're teaching me how to wall jump, so I guess they know I can do that. Yep. There we go. Climb up there. Why is this village named after me? Like, my character's name is Woodall, right? What do you gotta say? This village was named after the past hero who saved our world. Oh! Are these characters like- is this a different Woodall to the one in the first game? Like, is, is it like with Link, where it's different reincarnations who have the same name? Because that'd be cool. Where are you going? The control for gliding is a little weird. It's the X button, which is like at the top of the controller. And, and the B button is, is for jumping, like in uh, most games on this platform. So it's a, li it's a little strange. It works okay, though. When you feel the vibration, it probably means that you're near a water tier. Oh, that's why I was vibrating. Okay. You've collected a water tier. Find all three in each level to restore the tree sages. Okay, so obviously those are the primary objectives, but there's a whole bunch of other collecting of stuff to do. Uh, which is the real meat of a collectathon. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what kind of moves we'll be unlocking. I look forward to finding out, though. Uh, I think there was a check mark just here. Yeah, there it is. If I stand here, uh, let's walk back to our house. Yes. Uh, so we can have a look at the shops that are near the house. Uh, blueberry suit. It's not the enemies bouncing away, it's you! Uh, the adorable mascot of the team that brought you this game. Okay, so these are just masks, they don't do anything. Uh, but I think the other shop should be around here somewhere too. What's on this side? Power up. Lay to launch a wind ball with every single swing of your leaf. Three jump, triple jump. Okay. Uh, these are quite expensive. These cost blueberries and they cost like hundreds of them. So... Okay, so yeah, I do want these, but I can't afford them. <laughs> Uh, what about over here? These cost regular berries. A boost flower you can hold in your hand. You'll be a little faster than before. Uh, hold Okay, a shield. Yeah, I do want that. Uh, the umbrella it makes me uh, hover some more better. Okay, I do want that too. Oh, Woodle, you should find the first three water tiers before starting to explore the rest of the world. Okay, so you do have to do the first level first. The twelve sacred flowers that once protected this place with their powers are sleeping around the world. Please try to wake them up if you see them. Okay. I'm not sure if I was supposed to be able to do that. That seemed like a slippery platform, but I, I managed to get up it, so if we're good. Uh, I can hit that to make a little elevator. Yep. Oh gosh, I am vibing with this game. Thank you for the recommendation. Uh, cause yeah, this, this, oop. Oh, I can't go up there either. <laughs> That's a little weird. <laughs> yeah, I, sh I should probably get the first three water tiers. But we can still look around up here and see what's on the other side. Uh, a couple more of these. Just nothing to say? Nope. You're just, just chilling. I'm guessing if I keep going this way, yeah, it'll automatically stop me from going any further. Okay, so I do have to do the first area first. 
which I, I guess makes sense. That's why it's called the first area. And, you know, Odyssey's like that too. What's this? The Lakehorn? Oh, so it makes them person, right? Oh, a collectible. I got some honey. Uh, let's flip this. There we go. Now let me go up this way. Your glide move is pretty good. Uh, even without the umbrella, you glide, like, pretty far. I'm gonna need a lot of these to get all the moves, though, jeez. <laughs> um, over there, there's some more. I don't think I can reach him yet. I need, like, the triple jump or something to get up that high. Maybe the wall jump? Maybe. Mm, doesn't quite look like I can do that. Hmm. Get more of these though. Uh, can't go any further that way. Okay, I probably should go and do the main level. I'm just having a lot of fun collecting random junk all over the place. <laughs> okay, so you, you press minus to get this screen, or you can press plus to get this screen. I'm guessing you can, yeah, scroll between them like this. Okay, and we want to warp. Here. Okay, I want to get those two blues over there. Oh, oh, oops. That's a great start. Um, hmm. I think I can just climb back up without too much trouble, though. Maybe? Oh, hello. There we go. Okay. Oops. I'm getting used to the controls, so, you know, probably good to mess up now and then just to get a feel for how you get places in this game. I would like a triple jump, though. <laughs> oh, more berries. Hiding back here. Thought they, they, they'd escape my notice. But they didn't. I found them. Okay, now let's get climbing. Oh, my controller's vibrating, must be reaching the second angel tier. I think it's called water tiers in this game, actually, but the second tier. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to get these first. There we go. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> oh gosh, let's just climb back up again. I wonder if I could have used that push block to make it a little bit easier to climb back up. Not that it really matters, it's not actually hard. Can actually skip the moving platforms like that. I'm not sure what the push block is for. Okay, there we go. We got water here number two. Using the glide move should make it easier to land on these bird platforms. Yeah, it probably will. Thank you. Thanks for your advice. Yeah, the glide is quite effective in this game. You can teleport to checkpoints if you fall down. Just press the plus button, select the, posi the position. Oops. Ah, bad guy. Did I just die? Oh, okay, what happens when you die? Let's find out. Uh, I guess you just respawned at the last checkpoint? I don't think I lost anything. Yeah, my numbers didn't go down, so eh, that's pretty easy. 
Uh, the first game didn't have lives, so I'd be really surprised if this one did, but I'm glad it still doesn't. <laughs> you know how I feel about lives in, in collectathon platformers. I don't like them. Uh, I think it's treetops? Warping back up to the checkpoint is a bit of a hassle. There we go. Whoops. Hang on, let's grab some berries over here. What do you got to say? Did you know that you can make wall jumps to reach higher places? Yeah, I did. Uh, I've actually done that a couple times already. I'm just gonna steal your blueberries, I hope you're cool with that. Uh, I'm guessing this will start moving once I get to the top and hit a switch or something. Just the way it looks. Yeah. The music's very nice, it's, it's relaxing. It's very chill. Oops. <laughs> I like how the leaf turns white after you've used it to double jump. So it's like, this, this is your double jump, you've used it up, now you know. It reminds me of the way um, Celeste's, um, Madeline's hair changes colour in Celeste. Uh, for pretty much the same reason, to warn you that you have to touch the ground again before you can use your ability. Uh... Climbing into these things is a bit weird, gotta say. Uh, there we go. I assume those little birdhouses do something, but I don't know what. <laughs> I've seen them all over the place, and I don't know what they do. Okay, let's try going this way. Berries! Yeah, I love berries. Okay. Oh, hang on, there's enemies on this bridge. Take that, jerks. It's my bridge now. camera's a little more zoomed than I would like. It's a shame this game doesn't have the zoom out option that the first one did, but it's alright. It's manageable. Okay, I think I want to warp now. Uh, three tops. There we go. thing is reasonably quick so it's not a huge deal having to do it now and then. Probably not much slower than Odyssey's, probably maybe even a little bit quicker, I don't know. I haven't timed Odyssey's. I'm finding these platforms a little confusing. <laughs> Up we go! Uh, okay. Okay. Hello, nerds. Go away. This is my treetop, not yours. Okay, then I hit this, and that'll give me a shortcut back up here later. Cool. Cool beans. And yeah, there's none of these birdhouses that I can't do anything with. I assume part of the game will involve, like, finding those. Oh, controller's vibrating. You know what that means. You do now, anyway, because I remember to talk to the person who tells you what it means. Uh, 
There's so many blueberries everywhere, jeez. You, you really want to, like, scour every corner of this map. Oh gosh, there's lots of enemies up here. Oh, my leaf went little. Oh, it's growing big again. We'll be okay. We'll be fine. Bad and naughty enemies! Okay, I do want those blueberries, but I also want that angel tear. Oh, you look large. I assume the bubble will break once I kill everyone. Looks like it. Alright. Okay, so we've rescued that tree there. Oh, we're back here. Thank you, Woodall. One of the eight sage protectors is now restored. The journey ahead is very long. I have built new paths to help you reach the new lands. Good luck, Woodall. Well, thank you. Um... I guess I'm allowed to go to those other places I was trying to go to earlier now. Um, I can't afford any of this stuff, can I? Uh, I can't, maybe I can afford those. Um, these things though, hmm. 58, I can nearly afford the auto windfall. But not the other cool stuff, like leaf sliding. I wonder if I get other moves as I progress. I hope so. I think maybe the constant rolling was a glitch, I can't do it now. <laughs> Are you going for an adventure? Can I come with you? Um, well, you've got a little backpack, so you're probably ready. Let's go. Oh, another shop. Hello. What's this? Masks. Oh, I see. I can buy some more masks. Uh, leaves? Oh, stronger leaves. Okay. Uh, I can't afford them, but I will eventually be able to. Hello. Hats? Uh, I can't afford those either. Everything is quite expensive. Ones or anything in them. Oh, this is ice. It's a slippery floor. Look. I'm slipping around. Okay, so we're in some sort of mount icy area and we're getting some, some cold. Hello, big tree. Remains of the protector of Snowy Mountain. Okay, so this area is Snowy Mountain. There's another checkpoint there. I can activate. These are all over the place. There must be something that I can do with those eventually. Snowball? <laughs> Leave me alone, uh, Getty. I'm just a little woodle tree. And you are a naughty Yeti. Oh no. I was killed by the naughty yeti. <laughs> I like this game. And yeah, you respawn at the last checkpoint that you stood on. And they're reasonably well placed, so you don't go back too far by the looks of things. 
And you have regenerating health as well, so... As long as you're not too reckless, like I was there fighting that yeti, you should be fine. We're really looking forward to having ranged attacks, though. Oh, hello, little snow people. Thanks for your berry. I hope you didn't need that. It's mine now. Slippery ice. Hey, hey, you could, you've got a sled. Can I use your sled? Let's go. Maybe not. Let me use your sled. <laughs> uh, doesn't look like it. got smaller, unless you're taking a hit. It's kind of hard to tell if you're taking a hit, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Odyssey is much clearer about that. I'm not sure you have mercy and vulnerability in this game, actually, which is a weird oversight. Oh, is this the evil lands? It's pretty spooky. Oh, gosh. Oh, I guess I touched something deadly. Level 7. Okay. Uh, apparently I went from level 1 to level 7. Um, I'm not sure why they're being numbered like that, given that apart from doing like level 1 first, they can clearly be done in pretty much any order. Um, but there you go. <laughs> Victory. There we go. Yeah, I am enjoying this game so much more than the first one. I am real glad I am playing this one. <laughs> I mean, I'm probably going to play through the first one as well, because it, it is fun, but this is more my game. This is, this is very much my type of game. <laughs> Ding! And that gives me a little shortcut. <sighs> okay, I'm guessing touching the goopy stuff is bad. So, I'm going to not touch the goopy stuff. Um, oh, hey, it's one of these guys. Hello! I definitely need that ranged attack with the little wind balls, because, yeah. There's some tough looking furries around. Ah, uh, my controller's vibrating, by the way. Which means there's something nearby. Uh, I don't know if I can actually reach it, though. I might need more abilities. Oh! I guess that freezes you? Uh, let's try going this way. That gets me a bit more height, then if I head towards uh, where the vibration was, which is over here... Oh. And then accidentally fall down for no reason. The controls are a bit floaty, but I think it works. There's not too much precision really needed for this platforming. There's nothing super tiny, and if you do need a bit more precision, you can glide like this. So, it works out okay. Uh, what? I'm hitting the switch, nothing's happening. Uh, 
That's weird. Hit it from the other side or something? No. I'm confused. Hmm. Being frozen can actually do damage, which is interesting. This just freezes you for a little while, and you're like, oh, I'm frozen. Maybe if you get hit while you're frozen, you take damage, but freezing itself seems relatively harmless. Oh no, my leaf, it's turned into a piece of paper. Yes, checkpoint. Give me that. Okay. Watch out, goats. Watch out, goats. There's a, there's a tree about. And the tree's name is Woodle. Because trees are made of wood. Get it? <laughs> Watch out, Yeti. There's a tree about. And the tree is carrying a little piece of paper. I'm not sure if I do less damage when I have a smaller leaf, or if it's just the double jumps that are affected. This guy seems to have a lot of health. Maybe I just can't beat him. I don't know. Looks like he's taking damage. I might need like a fire leaf or something. I was making a different noise when I hit him. Maybe that means he's not taking any damage? Hmm, I don't know. What have we here? Is that like a ledge or something I can grab to? Hmm. Hmm, can't do anything with that. Might need to get a triple jump or some other ability to cross that. <sighs> it's quite expensive. <laughs> oh, oh, berries, let's go. I was just trying to figure out what level 2 is, so I understand what the default progression of the game is supposed to be, but... Is that lava? Right next to ice? Alright. <laughs> Interesting turn we're taking here. Bit of a... bit of a freeze flame galaxy situation. Uh, I guess that's the edge of the world there. Hello, edge of the world. Uh. Oh dear. Oh no, I made it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that was scary. Uh. Oh. Okay, yeah, lava's instant death. Um, it's not like uh, Mario 3D lava where you go ha 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 and bounce. It's more like Mario 2D lava, which is for some reason lethal immediately. It's kind of weird that this, the two variants of Mario game handle that rule differently. Gliding, gliding all the way across. To this bit. <sighs> I'm rolling again. I think it's if you land on a flower because you roll after you land from a jump. So if you jump and land on the, the rolling on the speed flower, yeah, you start you start rolling instead of boosting forward. 
wonder if that's a glitch or if that's just like a mechanic that happens they didn't quite intend. Hey, here's the desert world. This is probably world two, knowing how these sorts of games work. <laughs> Sorry, Bright. <laughs> it's kind of hurting my eyes. <laughs> uh. And again, it's lost next to level seven, so it might be level six. Um, depends on how these are arranged, I suppose. Okay, that's quicksand. Let's not touch the quicksand. I've, I've played platformers before. I know about quicksand. Um... I'm kind of feeling I might go back to the house and try to head to wherever level two is. Just to try to get things back on track a little. Uh, can I afford anything yet? I don't think I can. Oh, maybe this first one? What's this? Yes, I can't afford that. Okay, so now I have a bit of a ranged attack. It looks pretty pathetic, but it's probably better than it looks. <laughs> okay, um, I think the game wanted me to go probably this sort of direction. That's my guess. It doesn't really show you. Hello. Oh, oh, I can bounce on you. Thanks, friend. Oh. Give me those lovely blueberries. Uh, there's a grumpy fellow down there. Uh, we got some, like, ruins going on. I guess that's cool. There we go. Oh, that bouncing noise means not taking damage, I think. Do I need, like, a more powerful weapon? Hmm. Well, let's get back on the path. The lighting is doing something very strange, by the way. I'm not sure what's supposed to be happening. It keeps, like, dimming a whole lot. It's, it's weird. Uh... Okay, well, uh, here's another checkpoint. So, let's step on it. Where are we? We are at level 5. Okay, this is not the level I thought it was either. <laughs> let's have a look at level 5. Uh, if it'll let me get into the cave. Looks like it will. I wonder what the minimum number of jumps for this game is. You don't have a whole lot of abilities if you don't jump. Um, and you have to worry about whether like double and triple jumps count. Uh, I assume you have to do all the levels oh, in order to get all the little angel tears or whatever. So you probably have to go everywhere. Well, you wouldn't need to get all the berries, I assume. Maybe you do, though. I'm not sure if those guys hurt you or just knock you around. I think they're like bullies. sort of bounce around and they don't hurt you but they knock you back that looks of things
Okay, those look like they'll hurt me. Uh, so let's be careful. Another checkpoint. We've got a spinny thingy. Give us a bridge. I like bridges. Okay, so that helps us get the water from the other side across. Oh yeah, it's over here. I see. I see. Oh, those aren't hurt, hurting. They're just like scenery. Okay. Uh, okay, so we want to go probably up here. Fill our leap with water. Okay, then we can't double jump because we have a leap full of. Oh, we can't even jump. Okay. Okay. Uh. Well, fill our leap with water and then don't jump. Just walk over to the little sapling <laughs> and water it. And let's just reach this. Possibly more things. No, nope, just that. Okay. Oh, uh, these, these blocks pop if you hit them with a leaf. Okay. Uh... Up we go. Oh, what? Oh, we got it. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. Uh... Okay, we're coming up and close to an hour, so I'll probably get you a little further into this area, and then I'll call it and give some thoughts. Oh, I need to water that. Where's some water? I think there's some at the top of this thing? Go away, nerd. There's ice everywhere. Oh, that's some water. Can I scoop that into my leaf? No, you need like a waterfall. Okay, um, let me see. Uh, I don't think I can get access to one in this room. You have to jump over this little piece here to get through the door, so I can't bring water with me. I'm probably bringing water from down here, right? Once I fix that platform. Yeah, there's some waterfalls down here. That makes sense. Okay. There's a lot down here. Look at all this stuff. Oh, where are these guys? Go away, nerd. No one invited you. I wonder if there's deep water in this game at all that, like, you can swim in, because I haven't seen anything like that. Uh, I'm guessing I can't break those. Yeah, it looks like I need water or something. Okay, uh, i got to get on here, and then I can basically follow the river. Oh, uh... Um... Uh, Oh. Well, I beat him. Somehow. <laughs> okay. Back to the water. Uh, don't go in the river. Go next to the river. And then take the bridge. Watch out for that guy. Okay, then we can get over here without any trouble. Alright. 
I thought that missed, but it didn't. We're good. <laughs> up, 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 up. Spin, 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 spin. That opens a door somewhere. It's a bit further ahead, I think. Uh, I think it's that one it opened. So, uh, thank you, little switch. Anything in here? Nope. Watch out for the bullies. They will bully you, hence their name. look like enemies. Oh, they are enemies. They are deadly spikes. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, I guess we'll respawn back at the... Yeah, there we are. Okay. Might just wander on and see if I'm getting close to uh, a happiness tier or whatever. Tier of, tier of wet. Oh gosh, it's fast. Oh, okay, I see. A new challenge. Uh, let's just get through this, and then I will describe the game to you. A bit of a summary. As I always do in these videos. Get that guy out of the way. Nerd. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's not hard. I just messed it up, because I'm, I'm bad at video games. What's this do? Makes a bridge. Oh, half a bridge. I guess we're gonna make the other half as well, for that to be useful? Maybe? Oh, wait, I see. That thing is a bridge that isn't out yet. In the wall there. So I need to find three of them to get up there. Okay, I understand. I know how video games work. I'm guessing this guy's just a big bully? Yeah, big bully. Okay. Watch out, I don't have a leaf. Leave me alone. Oh, these are the geysers like in the first game, but you use your, your gliding ability to get onto them instead. That is much better. Like in the first one, they just sort of activated if you stood in them and they just got in the way and it was really annoying. And I complained about it in the video. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, that makes a bridge up there. We need one in the middle, though. So there's got to be another switch here somewhere. Also, don't think I didn't spot you hiding back there. <laughs> Where I came, so I don't want to go that way again. I'm gonna go this way. Hello, little bullies. Oh gosh. Um. Okay, that should be enough for me to get up there without any trouble. Excuse me, bullies. I need to be on my way. Oh! Oh, that one's just, just got weird stuff happening. Okay. It's not like... I thought it was like a you have to do this real quick sort of time limit thing, rather than just a it goes in and out kind of thing. Big leap to get up there, so I think it's full. 
Full power for double jump. There we go. Stop it, nerds. Ooh, just a uh, breeze going this way. Is that to stop me from gliding this direction? Probably. Okay, uh, we're at an hour now, so I should probably start wrapping up. Ooh, hang on. Flowers? What have we got going on here? Oh! Oh no! We got a, a dead little woodle. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna wrap up here. This game looks really fun. <laughs> so yeah, the first one uh, was like a, a linear course clearing kind of platformer with a static camera, you could zoom in and out, you couldn't move it around. Uh, it was very similar to 3D Land and 3D World. Uh, which, as you may know, if you're familiar with the channel, are games I'm not super fond of. Uh, this one, you've got, you know, a full three, uh, free, freestanding, go anywhere sort of camera. You've got like zillions of things to collect all over the place. Uh, you've got all these little berries you've got to look for. Um, you've got moves to unlock with those berries. Uh, this is looking like my kind of a video game, and I'm very excited. Uh, take that jerk. Uh, there are some little janky bits, like the thing that the lighting keeps doing, where it keeps like going real dark or deciding that it should be different colors or whatever. It's very weird. I I'm not sure if that's like an intentional thing or if there's some sort of weird interaction with the Switch version of the game that I is like messing stuff up. But I I'm pretty sure that it looks weird. Um, so yeah, uh, that is weird. Um, what else? I kind of wish it were easy to tell when you got hurt. Uh, like in Odyssey where you get, like, like in most Mario games really, where you get a bit of mercy and vulnerability after you get hit. Uh, so that you have a chance to, you know, get away from the enemy and not get hit again. I'm glad your health, like, regenerates. I think that's good. Uh, I like regenerating health. Uh, and tying your health, like, to, to the ability to double jump is really interesting. Uh, I'm not sure how much sense it makes, but it's, it's very interesting. <laughs> um, I should look at the collectibles you get in your house, because I haven't really yet, and that sounds pretty cool. Boop. Yeah, I should be able to bring some water up on that platform without too much trouble. Uh, I really like like using the leaf on your head as a mechanic in this game. Because that didn't happen in the first one, your leaf is basically just a weapon. Uh, it's still a weapon in this game, but now it's all sorts of things. It's your double jump, it's uh... It's like a thing for carrying water, it's a gliding tool, it, it's just like, they sort of thought, well a character carries a leaf, what can we do with that? And now they do all kinds of cool shit with it. And I think that's a pretty good improvement. Um, I like it. I like this game. Um, <laughs> I think it would be nice if the map, like, it highlighted where you were every time you paused. It, as you can see, it says Main Plaza Woodle's House. I'm actually closer to this one, the Rock Stairs. Uh, but it always defaults to the middle by the looks of things, which is not ideal. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's a helpful sort of map to give you an idea of where to look to find things. Uh... I like that you can, you know, buy a variety of upgrades from the house, from the from the little shops near your house. It's cool. I, I like, you know, Odyssey did something very similar, and you know, I love that game. So it's good that see something similar in this game. <laughs> um. Hmm. 
Hmm, what else do I want to say? I think uh, naming the levels level 1, level 2 in the menu like that is weird. Um, I already mentioned that, but, like, presumably these levels have names. It would make more sense to show their names. Uh, like, the, like the, the Woodlands or whatever the first one was called. And this would be like, I don't know, the Rock Tunnel. Something like that. Um, rather than just giving them numbers in the menu, given that you don't have to do them in the order it specifies. Uh, as I'm proving here by playing level 5 after level 1. Uh, so yeah, that is a little weird. Uh, uh, what else, what else, what else? Uh, the combat is okay, I guess. It could be better, but eh, it's alright. It's alright. Um... Oops, right, I can't jump. Uh, gotta do it like this. There we go. There we go. Um, when you're on these things, like, it automatically, like, locks you on, so you walk around the spiral. You don't have to worry about figuring that out, which is good. Because, yeah, it is a weird sort of shape to manage. That would be a big problem. Uh, but it's not, because of the way it works. Oops. Uh, whoops. <laughs> okay, uh... Anyway, um... Yeah, so this is uh, Woodle, Woodle Tree 2 uh, Deluxe. It's a big free roamy sort of platformer where you teleport between checkpoints and collect a whole bunch of stuff all over the place and you have a like wide variety of interesting moves you can use to jump around. Uh... I do like the gliding. The gliding is very cool. Uh, I don't know if you'll be getting more base moves as you progress, or if that's just a thing you can buy. Like the triple jump and that in the shop. I think I might have unlocked the gliding moves on the way through the tutorial path, so it's possible I'll like unlock more things as I go. Which would be nice. Uh, but the moves that I have right now, it's, like, it's pretty flexible. I'm managing to do some interesting stuff. Uh, so it, it's good. It's good. I like this game. Um, Again, if I had to criticize, like, the, the thing with the lighting is very weird, and I'm noticing a couple frame rate drops as well. Uh, apart from those, though, this is looking super duper fun. Uh, the art style is a bit minimalistic, I guess, but I, I like the way it looks. It's charming. Uh, like, I mean, all these, like, solid flat colors on everything. Uh, like, it could be taken as kind of lazy, like, they hadn't put the effort in to make things look more fancy or whatever, but it's fine. I like it. I like how it looks. Did I already bring water over here? I think I did. I'm not sure though. Let me just check. Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, this is Woodle Tree 2. It's, it's a platformer that looks a tiny bit like the first one, but plays completely differently. <laughs> Oh gosh, yeah, they changed a lot here, and for the better. Uh, I am going to enjoy playing the first game, like, don't get me wrong, I don't regret picking that one up, especially because it was so, like, cheap, it was a dollar. Uh, but, like, this one is the one I am very interested in playing more of. Uh, oh, hello. Oop, oop. Oh, that's why the bullies are there. Okay, I see. Uh, yeah, that's uh, where one of the uh, little water tears is, so I've got to get back up there. Ooh, hello, we are good here? Oh, I need a yellow leaf to break this open. You'll need another kind of leaf to destroy this block. Oh, okay, that's why there were like green blocks earlier. That I could break open with a green leaf, I get it. I understand how things work in video games. Uh, I don't like waiting for moving platforms, but these are really fast, so it shouldn't be a huge deal. There we go. <laughs> okay, um, I'm just gonna get that water leaf and water tear, and then I'm gonna call that a video, I think. So yeah, this game looks real fun, uh, and it's super collecty, and it, the world is really interesting. You've got a bunch of different locales to visit, uh, as far as I can tell, in more or less any order, which is cool. Oop. Apart from doing the first one first, which is, I guess, just because it teaches you how to play a little bit. Although there was like an explicit part called the tutorial part, so I don't know if it was that necessary, but you know, whatever. Oop. No, 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 no. Oh no, I got spined. 
Oh gosh, this this game is kind of hard. Uh, at least little parts of it are like that. Uh, where am I now? Oh god, there's so many of them! Look at all these bullies! <laughs> um, where was I? Uh, not that way. Was it that way? I can't remember. Where am I trying to go? Oh, right, um... I think I go this way, and then I get on that thing, and then I can go up on the vine. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll just get this last water here, and then we'll call that a video. Um, so yeah, I know you can upgrade leaves in the first game as well, because uh, I did. Uh, that does seem to make them a bit better, like it gives them ranged attacks and stuff, which is part of what the leaves do in this game as well, but this one also explains what they do before you upgrade leaves, which I think is an improvement. <laughs> uh, it also, you know, has a counter to let you know how many berries you've got uh, outside of the hub world. Which is the only place that has a berry counter in the other game, which is weird. I guess we're in the hub world right now, so... Technically it's no different. Oh no! Oh no! Oh gosh, this is gonna be hard. Um... It'd be nice to have some more checkpoints. <laughs> uh... What if I climb up over here? Oh... Uh. Having, like, area maps would be nice, actually. Um, you know, Odyssey, like, it has, like, an, a kingdom map at a time, because the kingdoms are separate. Uh, and yeah, that does make the game a bit more linear in certain ways, but it also means, you know, you can see what areas are available to you just by checking the map a lot more clearly. Uh, here you can see the whole game world on the map, which means you don't see much about where you are right now. It's not zoomable. Or oh, it is zoomable. Okay. It's zoomable, but it doesn't super help when you do that. Because, <laughs> yeah, you can't see anything about the cave I'm in right now if you look at that. Up we go. Okay, let's try this one more time, and then I'm going to call it a video, and then I'll come back with a better leaf or something later. <laughs> Actually, I think I can maybe knock those guys off the platforms using my little gust ability. That might make it easier. Let's see if we can try that. Because, like, I can't kill the bullies, but I can push them around. Uh, I can't push them off the platform, it looks at things. Okay, um, uh, like, there goes that idea. Oop. Dang it. <laughs> oh gosh, there's so many of them everywhere. Oh my goodness. So yeah, the reason my controller is vibrating right now is because there is a water tier to stop there. Uh, as far as I can tell, it's the only time your controller vibrates. You don't take get vibration when you take damage or anything, which is kind of weird. Let me just check. Oh no, it's a little bit of vibration, just not constant vibration. Okay. Yeah, so like, they do a pretty decent job of using like the like the HD rumble thing or whatever, which is interesting because barely any Switch developers bother with that. But they have like a little rumble when you land, and they have a slightly bigger rumble when you hit stuff. Uh, and, you know, they have a like constant little rumble when you're near. Yeah, they're doing that really well. It's very impressive, actually. Like, it, it, it's so like natural in terms of the, when the vibration happens that I didn't really notice it was doing it until like I just started thinking about it now. Huh. But yeah, they, they've done a really good job with the HG rumble, I am impressed. Okay. Okay, we did it. Okay, we did it. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. We got the middle one. I must have missed the first one. Huh. Oops. Uh, I'm guessing I'll check the map now. Yeah, it shows up as done. Uh, it's over there near the level I'm doing. Okay. Uh... So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um... I hope you're as surprised by how cool this game is compared to the previous one as I am. Because <laughs> um, yeah, this was the one that, that was recommended me, to me in the first place. I just figured that both games would be similar, but they're, they're not similar. They're actually quite different. And this one is better. 
<laughs> oh gosh. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's Woodle Tree 2 Deluxe. I don't know what the Deluxe part does, I've never played another version of the game, but this is super fun, and I'm really happy that I'm playing it. So, thank you friend for telling me to play this, because I'm playing it, and yeah, it's good. Uh, it's good, it's a good game. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I think it, it just auto-saves, but I'll walk back to my house just in case. What am I doing with affording things? Uh, I've got a lot of regular berries. Might be able to buy something over here. Let's try the umbrella. Um, I'm not sure it's doing anything. Maybe my glide is a bit better. It's kind of hard to tell. My guess is my glide is better. Uh, but I'm not really seeing it. Uh, just because it's a little hard to compare directly uh, what the difference is. Let me just climb up real high and do some gliding and see how, how I go. Yeah, I think my glide is more glidey than it was. So that's cool. Uh, okay, um, yeah, I think I've already said I'm ending the video like three times, so let's end the video. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and next time I guess I'll play something else that isn't a game about a little tree uh, Unless it is a game about a little tree who knows it might be That might be the type of game I make now the type of game I play is, is little tree games Welcome to, to uh, Danny's channel. All we do here is play games about little trees <laughs> Oh gosh uh... I think if I get enough height, hang on, let me get those first. The umbrella is very cute. Uh, I think it might extend my glide as well, which is a nice bonus, but also it's very cute, which is the main thing. There's another birdhouse up here, so that's cool. But mostly I want to get over there. Yeah, I'm definitely gliding real good now, so... I assume that's the umbrella's doing. I can't, like, unequip it as far as I know. Doesn't look like it. Cool. Uh, oh yeah, let's visit my house before we finish up again. Because there should be like cool collectibles in here, right? It's the same basic house layout from the first game with the two layers. Uh, that, that window has been added so you can get in from behind. Oh look, it's a little, little friend. Oh, that's cute. And a little jar of honey. So yeah, this, this house will fill up with stuff as we play through the game. Neat. Basically it's the Odyssey, except it doesn't follow us around. But we have to walk back here between worlds anyway, so it doesn't need to follow us around. <laughs> oh gosh. So yeah, that's this game. Uh, I like it. I am looking forward to playing more of it. Uh, but I'm going to end the video, like I've told you many times. So thank you for watching. The video is now actually ending. Goodbye. <laughs>